हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन ऐप बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड व्हिच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर दिस ऐप इज अ वन स्टॉप सॉल्यूशंस टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर बर्निंग द मिडनाइट ऑयल टू ग्रैब अ गवर्नमेंट जॉब इफ यू कैन सी वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड द ऐप यू कैन गो एंड लॉग इन थ्रू द जीमेल आईडी और योर गूगल आईडी वंस यू आर लॉग्ड इन यू विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड टू दिस पेज there you can see various options about the courses that you have purchased and various courses that are offered by affairs cloud in our courses we offer current affairs on daily basis on monthly basis on weekly basis in bilingual language that is both in english as well as in hindi we provide you current affairs on daily basis weekly basis and monthly basis if you see closely here we provide you current affairs in quiz formats daily 20 questions quiz will be provided to you we will be providing you with pdf of current affairs of that particular day and current affairs as well as the questions will be provided to you on the youtube channel on our affairs cloud youtube channel where you can go and revise the current affairs also similarly for weekly every week you will be provided with 50 questions quiz questions current affairs related to your mcqs of compiled of that particular week as well as a pdf containing the compiled news compiled articles of that particular week and similar goes for your monthly that you will be provided with whole compiled current affairs of that particular month that will be very helpful to you and you will be getting a top 100 question answers pdf of that particular month also all this material will be provided to you in our courses which you can go and check on the application similarly as i told you we are bilingual we provide you both hindi as well as english also all the content that i mentioned earlier that will be providing daily weekly and monthly they will be provided to you in english as well as in hindi also so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of the topic defense of april month session will be important and i suggest you all to make notes first topic first we'll be talking about imax highly important pay attention this was the first edition of the imax that was held at goa so what is the name of the exercise it is imax this was the first edition of this exercise and where was this held this was held in goa all right but what does imax stands for remember imax here stands for ions maritime exercise so i m e x what does ion stands for indian ocean naval symposium so indian naval indian ocean naval symposium maritime exercise its first edition was recently conducted in 2022 and where this was conducted it was conducted at goa so pay attention first edition of indian ocean naval symposium maritime exercise that is your this will be asked to you that when was the first edition of imax 2022 conducted it was conducted in the year or it will be like where was the first edition of imax was conducted in the year 2022 and where was it conducted at goa this was conducted between 26th of march to 30th of march this exercise is aimed at providing interoperability and humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations among the member navies all right i repeat this particular exercise imax is basically targeting hdr that is your humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations among the various members of this exercise and it was the first exercise that was conducted at the first edition of this was conducted at goa then remember this was conducted in two phases what was the first phase harbor phase and sea phase harbor phase was conducted in goa just we saw and the sea phase was conducted in the arabian sea this also you have to remember all right so all the things imax this was the first edition that was conducted in the year 2022 the harbor phase was conducted at goa and the ship phase was conducted at the arabian sea if we talk about this indian ocean naval symposium this ions cooperates and collaborates navies of the littoral states now what are littoral states littoral states are all those states in the indian ocean region all those countries who have coastline who have coastline a littoral state is a country that has a coastline so you need to remember this term also this enables discussions on regional maritime issues promotes friendly relationships and significantly improves the maritime security cooperation in the indian ocean region all right so this is everything you need to remember about imax 
नेक्स्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सेकेंड इज योर लमित्य लमित्य 2022 दिस वाज एन एक्सरसाइज दैट वाज कंडक्टेड बिटवीन इंडिया एंड शीशेल्स दिस वाज द नाइन्थ एडिशन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज दैट वाज कंडक्टेड बिटवीन इंडिया एंड शीशेल्स एंड इट वाज कंडक्टेड वेयर लोकेशन इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज योर शीशेल्स ओनली ऑल राइट सो द नाइन्थ एडिशन ऑफ शीशेल्स जॉइंट ट्रेनिंग एक्सरसाइज बाय द नेम लमित्य ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी कंडक्टेड एट शीशल्स इट सेल्फ ऑल राइट दिस एक्सरसाइज वॉज बिटवीन ट्वेंटी मार्च टू थर्टी ऑफ मार्च नेक्स्ट थर्ड एंड इंपॉर्टेंट वन हॉल हिंदुस्तान एरोनॉटिक्स लिमिट ऑफ इंडिया हैज साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद आई ए आई ऑफ इसराइल टू कन्वर्ट सिविल एयरक्राफ्ट इन टू एम एम टी टी एयरक्राफ्ट वॉट इज एम एम टी टी एयरक्राफ्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस एम एम टी पी स्टैंड फॉर मल्टी मिशन टैंकर ट्रांसपोर्ट इट इज एन एयरक्राफ्ट दैट विल बी यूज टू deliver products from one location to another as an army or a cargo ship all right as an army cargo ship it will be used so recently hindustan aeronautics limited has signed an mou with whom it has been signed an mou with israel aerospace industries to convert a civil passenger aircraft into mm tt that is your multi mission tanker transport and this will be built under atam nirbhar bharat next we will be talking about the ninth edition of india and kyrgyzstan exercise by the name khanjar the name of the exercise is khanjar all right this is the exercise that was conducted between india and kyrgyzstan this was the ninth edition of the india kyrgyzstan joint special force exercise khanjar all right highly important pay attention what is the location where this exercise was conducted it was conducted in india and that to at special force training school that is located in himachal pradesh all right so ninth edition of this exercise khanjar that was between india and kyrgyzstan where was this conducted it was conducted at himachal pradesh all right so what are the things to remember ninth edition khanjar the name of the exercise himachal pradesh where this exercise was conducted and india and uh, kyrgyzstan between whom this exercise was conducted next kripan shakti recently exercise kripan shakti was conducted highly important why this exercise kripan shakti is important because this is an integrated fire power exercise that was recently conducted by the indian army's tri shakti corps all right this kripan shakti was conducted by whom this exercise was conducted by tri shakti corps all right highly important pay attention where was this exercise conducted this kripan shakti this was conducted at the tista field uh, field firing range that is located near siliguri in west bengal i repeat if the name of the state is asked where this kripan shakti exercise was conducted it is your west bengal and it was conducted at tista field firing range of west bengal all right and by whom this kripan shakti exercise was conducted it was your tri shakti corps of indian army who conducted this exercise then what was the aim it was to showcase the joint manship and synchronization capabilities of indian army and the central armed police force so indian army and central armed police forces all right highly important pay attention as i said the aim of the exercise is to showcase the joint manship and the synchronization capabilities of indian army and capfs to fight in an integrated battle next next is your nut polrex what is this nut polrex and it was the eight here this symbol is your eight all right so recently this means this is the eighth edition of this national level pollution response exercise net pol rex so how can you break it down net national pol is for your pollution r is for response and ex is for your exercise and this is the eighth edition so that is the reason eight so net pol rex it is a national level pollution response exercise that was recently inaugurated by union defense secretary ajay kumar all right this was a two day long exercise what was the objective it was to enhance the preparedness and the response capabilities of all the stakeholders in combating the marine spill this term is important here so you have to pay attention all right i repeat what was the aim of this exercise net polrex the aim was to enhance the preparedness and response capability of all the stakeholders in combating marine spills 
ऑल राइट दिस एक्सरसाइज शो केस द कंटेनमेंट एंड मेरिन स्पिल रिकवरी बाय स्वीपिंग आर्म्स बाय रिकवरी बाय स्टीमिंग ऑफ सिंगल शिप्स ऑपरेटेड कंटेनमेंट कम रिकवरी सिस्टम फायर फाइटिंग ड्रिल्स रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन एंड डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ द सर्फेस एंड एयर ऑयल स्पिल डिस्पर्जेंट सिस्टम द एक्सरसाइज फीचर्स टेबल टॉप एक्सरसाइज एंड पॉल्यूशन रिस्पॉन्स वर्कशॉप ऑन मरीन ऑयल एंड हजारडस एंड नॉक्शियस सब्सटांस स्पिल सो क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ट वेयर वॉज दिस नेट पॉलरेक्स एक्सरसाइज कंडक्टेड इट वॉज कंडक्टेड एट इट वॉज कंडक्टेड एट मॉर्मू गोवा हार्बर and where is this mormu goa harbor this is located at goa i repeat so net polrex 8th edition of this exercise was conducted at goa mormu goa harbor and this was the 8th edition of this exercise all right and if asked who conducted this exercise i mean which force conducted this exercise it was conducted by icg that is your indian coast guard conducted this Net Polrex Eight, that is your national level pollution response exercise. That was the eighth edition of this exercise. It was inaugurated by Ajay Kumar, who is the Union Defence Secretary. And where was this conducted at Goa? It was to uh, prepare for the upcoming marine oil spills. Next, next we will be talking about a missile that is. was recently tested by russia and it is one of the most powerful nuclear capable ballistic missile i repeat this exercise was uh, this missile was tested by russia and what is the name of this exercise if asked it stays your rs 28 sarmat i repeat this is the name of the exercise rs 28 sarmat as you can see here in the picture this was a missile that was recently tested by Russia and it is one of the most powerful nuclear capable ballistic missile. It is also called Saturn II. You have to remember this name. Important. It will replace R thirty six M ICBM in Russia's arsenal. The Sarmat ICBM has been developed at the Makhigiv State Rocket Center. That is a part of Roscosmos. This is the space agency of Russia. All right. one more thing there was a term here icbm what does this icbm stands for this is your intercontinental ballistic missile rs28 sarmat all right so what is your icbm intercontinental ballistic missile this is the full form of icbm you have to remember it is also known by the name satan 2 and it is of which country it was recently tested by russia moving on next we are talking about pinaka mk1 that is the enhanced rocket system and the pinaka area denial mutation rocket system all right this was recently successfully tested by which organization it was successfully tested by drdo and indian army pinaka mk1 highly important you should know about it so if question asked pinaka mk1 is related to which country it is related to india who recently tested the pinaka mark 1 here mk1 stands for mark 1 enhanced rocket system it was tested by drdo and indian army next next is your gaofen 303 highly important pay attention it is a revision also china recently has successfully launched a new satellite gaofen 303 for earth observation so can be asked what is the name of the earth observation satellite or an earth observation satellite gaofen 303 was launched by which country it was launched by china you should know about it next we are talking about shahin 3 shahin 3 is a ballistic missile that was recently successfully tested by which country it was successfully tested by pakistan shahin 3 All right it has a range of around 2750 km it is a surface to surface missile question can be asked that shahin 3 is it is a surface to surface is it a air to air or surface to air kind of missile so it is a surface to surface next next we are talking about iron beam iron beam is a new laser missile defense system that was recently successfully tested by israel question asked by two forms here 
नेम ऑफ द कंट्री बाय हूम दिस आयरन बीम वॉज लॉन्च्ड एंड रिसेंटली इसराइल लॉन्च्ड अ न्यू लेजर मिसाइल डिफेंस सिस्टम व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट न्यू लेजर मिसाइल डिफेंस सिस्टम इट इज योर इज अ आयरन बीम वेयर वॉज दिस टेस्टेड ए फास्ट नेगेव दिस नेगेव डेजर्ट इज इन इसराइल ओनली वेयर दिस वॉज टेस्टेड हु इज द करंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इसराइल नेफ्ताली बेनेट इज द करंट Prime Minister of Israel. Also remember, Israel was the country that was helping India to develop 150 villages of excellence in India. By whom was this iron beam developed? This was developed by Rafael Advance Defence System. I repeat, by whom was this developed? Rafael Advance Defence System developed this iron beam. That is the new laser missile defence system. This will help Israel. from aerial uh, defense such as drones all right missiles rockets so it will help as a protection against such aerial devices if we talk about iron beam same is written here that this beam works on a fiber laser system that can destroy any airborne object it has a range of up to 7 km which is often considered too close for the iron dome system to intercept projectiles effectively this iron dome system is also which country it is also of is rail iron dome and now iron beam one more thing recently remember brahmos supersonic cruise missile was tested if asked that if it was tested by indian air force then the uh, rocket uh, the aircraft that used or that tested this brahmos supersonic cruise missile was sukhoi sukhoi 30 mark 1 all right so sukhoi 30 mark 1 was the aircraft from which this brahmos supersonic cruise missile was tested by indian air force this is also important by whom this was tested indian air force next we are talking about hamish bennett Hamish Bennett is a New Zealand pacer he is related to cricket and recently he has taken retirement from all the forms of cricket next is your thailand open boxing tournament india secured how many medals in this thailand open boxing tournament a total of 10 medals were secured by india out of which 3 were gold next is world chagas day chagas is a disease this chagas disease day is observed on 14th of april and it is a very deadly disease uh, spreaded by protozoa spreaded by protozoa next is your 14th of april as we saw 14th of april it is an important day because on 14th of april tamil nadu declared that in the memory of dr b r ambedkar tamil nadu will be observing 14th of april as the equality day so friends apart from this if i ask you some questions say for example tell me c dome or protective dome this c dome or protective dome is a defense system based on iron dome that was of which country we just saw it was of israel and now israel also has iron beam next if question asked to you is khaibar sheikh khan khaibar sheikh khan what is this khaibar sheikh khan khaibar sheikh khan is a surface to surface blastic missile can you tell me this khaibar sheikh khan is of which country it is of iran khaibar sheikh khan it is a surface to surface blastic missile and it is of iran next if question asked to you hua song 12 hua song 12 this hua song 12 is missile of which country it is a blastic missile of or you can say intermediate range blastic missile of which country it is of north korea north korea all right then asked which is the first asian country that was that became a part of the cyber security of nato it is south korea because south korea was facing cyber threats from both from china as well as north korea then if question asked tell me dharma guardian dharma guardian was an exercise that was conducted between india and japan this was the third edition of this dharma guardian that was conducted between india and japan and the location where this was conducted is karnataka 
ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट सिलिनेक्स सिलिनेक्स ट्वेंटी वन दिस एक्सरसाइज वॉज कंडक्टेड बिटवीन एज द नेम सजेस्ट इंडिया एंड श्रीलंका इट वॉज अ नेवल एक्सरसाइज देन रिमेंबर दिस एक्सरसाइज वॉज कंडक्टेड वेयर दिस वॉज हेल्ड एट विशाखापट्टनम दैट इज इन आंध्र प्रदेश नेक्स्ट एंड विच वॉज वन मोर थिंग येस विच वॉज द एडिशन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज दिस वॉज द नाइन्थ एडिशन ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज दैट वॉज कंडक्टेड नेक्स्ट सुरक्षा कवच टू सुरक्षा कवच टू दिस एक्सरसाइज वॉज कंडक्टेड बाय हूम दिस सुरक्षा कवच टू वॉज कंडक्टेड बाय इंडियन आर्मीज अग्निबाज डिविजन अग्निबाज डिविजन दिस सुरक्षा कवच टू वॉज हेल्ड वेयर दिस वॉज हेल्ड एट पुणे पुणे इज इन महाराष्ट्र ऑल राइट दिस एक्सरसाइज इन्वॉल्व द पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ काउंटर टेररिज्म टास्क फोर्स ऑफ इंडियन आर्मी एंटी टेररिस्ट स्क्वाड ऑफ महाराष्ट्र पुलिस एंड ऑल्सो अ क्विक रिस्पॉन्स टीम अलॉन्ग विद डॉग स्क्वाड बॉम्ब डिस्पोजेबल टीम्स ऑफ बोथ एजेंसीज ऑल राइट सो इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिपेयर फॉर एनी टेरिस्ट एक्शन इफ इट हैपन्स इन इन फ्यूचर सो दिस वॉज सुरक्षा कवच द सेकेंड एक्सरसाइज नेक्स्ट इज योर डस्ट लेक डस्ट लेक इज वॉज अ एक्सरसाइज दैट वॉज कंडक्टेड बिटवीन इंडिया एंड उजबेकिस्तान दिस वॉज द थर्ड एडिशन ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज दैट वॉज कंडक्टेड बिटवीन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड टू थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च इन और सॉरी दिस एक्सरसाइज येस फ्रॉम थर्टी ट्वेंटी सेकेंड टू थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च एंड दिस एक्सरसाइज कंडक्टेड वेयर दिट्स वॉज कंडक्टेड लोकेशन इज योर उजबेकिस्तान ऑल राइट सो डस्ट लेक एक्सरसाइज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड उजबेकिस्तान सुरक्षा बाय द various forces that help to prepare for any future terrorist acts next exercise cold response can you tell me where was this cold response exercise conducted this exercise was conducted at norway and this cold response was conducted by nato then where is 108 feet tall statue of lord hanuman this is at morbi where is morbi morbi is in gujarat first batch of assault rifles that is ak203 was procured by india they were procured by india from which country russia delivered the first batch of ak203 assault rifles to india around 20 to 25000 rifles were there next who will launch ndap What is NDAP? National Data and Analytics Program will be launched by Niti Aayog. What is Pondicherry's first ever beach festival? Pondicherry's first ever beach festival is your I C Pondi. All right. There was a data that stated that the extreme poverty in India has declined by twelve point three percent. for the time period that is from 2011 to 2019 all right one more question then bro border road organization has made the world's highest tunnel this tunnel is located at shinkula pass this world highest tunnel will be connecting himachal pradesh to ladakh so these are the question that can be framed from border road organization next is india's first पोर्टेबल सोलर रूफ टॉप इंडियाज फर्स्ट पोर्टेबल सोलर रूफ टॉप वेयर इज दिस दिस इज इन गांधी नगर एंड वेयर इज गांधी नगर इट इज इन गुजरात सिमिलरली वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ग्लोबल सेंटर फॉर ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन वर्ल्ड हेल्थ वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज सेटिंग अप a global center for traditional medicine where it is being set up at gujarat only and in gujarat too it is jam nagar next first pure green hydrogen making plant this has been set up at jorhat jorhat is at assam and oil oil is oil india limited then which is the first state to install 
एल रूट सर्वर इट इज योर राजस्थान देन फर्स्ट इनक्रेडिबल इंडिया इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस आई रिपीट फर्स्ट इनक्रेडिबल इंडिया इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस विल बी हेल्ड इन मुंबई नेक्स्ट इफ आई आस्क यू वर्ल्ड बैंक वर्ल्ड बैंक है स्लैश द ग्लोबल स्लैश द ग्लोबल फॉरकास्ट और ग्लोबल ग्रोथ फॉरकास्ट फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू टू थ्री पॉइंट टू परसेंट अर्लियर वर्ल्ड बैंक स्टेटेड दैट द ग्लोबल ग्रोथ फॉरकास्ट फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वॉज फोर पॉइंट वन परसेंट बट नाउ इट हैज बिन स्लैश टू थ्री पॉइंट टू परसेंट और राइट अनदर थिंग रिसेंटली इंडिया ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड एन एडिशनल फाइव हंड्रेड मिलियन डॉलर फ्यूल एड टू श्रीलंका और राइट नेक्स्ट इफ आई आस्क यू रिसेंटली IMF, एम एफ इंटरनेशनल मॉनिटरी फंड प्रोजेक्टेड द इंडिया जी डी पी फॉर द फिजिकल ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री टू बी डैश इट वॉज एट पॉइंट टू परसेंट और राइट हाउ मच इट वॉज एट पॉइंट टू परसेंट हु बिकेम द इंडियाज ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ चीफ ऑफ आर्मी स्टाफ ही इज लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल मनोज पांडे आई रिपीट हु बिकेम इंडिया ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ चीफ ऑफ आर्मी स्टाफ ही इज लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल मनोज पांडे ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव एनी ट्रबल रिगार्डिंग लॉग इन और पेमेंट और एनी अदर इश्यूज देन यू कैन रीच टू अस ऑन आर मेल दैट इज सपोर्ट एट द रेट ऑफ अफेयर्स क्लाउड डॉट कॉम और यू कैन कॉल अस ऑन द नंबर नाइन सिक्स डबल सेवन डबल थ्री थ्री एट सिक्स टू एंड विल रिजोल्व योर इश्यू एज सुन एज पॉसिबल also you should go and check our courses that are available at a very reasonable price and that will help you to boost your preparation